Yo, what is going on guys? Ezra Jeremiah here, and today I'm playing The Escapist 2. Guys, I hope you're having a good day today, because, well, <laughs> I'm not. I was caught. I was a bad boy. I was taken to jail. <laughs> I was a prisoner, but I escaped guys. I escaped jail. Yes. I escaped uh, I escaped the tutorial level. I have actually played this game for about an hour now Probably actually like an hour and a half. I have like an hour and a half into this game Okay, and I recorded it, but I'm not gonna be using that footage I ended up going through and trying to do a bunch of the missions and stuff and I was missing mi missing I wish missing I was missing a lot of key things in this game So I was basically just running around this is gonna go much smoother I've already played the campaign level which is precinct 17, but we're gonna jump straight into center picks I don't know where that voice came from. You can customize each individual inmate, which before I didn't even realize that I could do this, which is kind of fun. He's got green and yellow hair. What? Can we give him a green and yellow beard? Dang it, no. We can give him like a hat. Look at this. He's got like a red hat. Uh, let's give him some sick shades. Oh yeah, let's give him the gold trimmed shades. Oh yeah. Let's name this guy Swag Boy. 9,000! Let's uh start game. Let's start game. Last time I was Sam. He's just, he's just a cool guy. But today we're gonna be... Parker. <laughs> I don't know why we're gonna be Parker. But we're gonna be Parker. Welcome to Center Parks to Bordeaux. Your fur starts here. Roll call is mandatory. The prison will lock down if you're not present. So if we're not present at roll call, the prison will be like, Oh my gosh, she's missing! And go and beat us up, so that's not good. Escape attempts will be reported to our control room. So this is like the ultimate room. This is where they see everything. There are a bunch of guards and stuff protecting you. Increase your intelligence by reading our books. Oh, and by the way, thank you, old man, for uh, teaching me how to escape your prison. I greatly appreciate it. Earn some money by visiting our job officers. We can earn money and uh, buy stuff from people. We, can, we will allocate one of these rooms for you to stay in. Awesome. Okay, so we we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> as you can see, we have a film crew with us for a while. Please don't interrupt their film. Uh, I don't really know how these guys are gonna be useful to us, but there are a bunch of different ways to escape the prisons. There are also multiple other prisons. So if you guys really like this game, if you want to see more videos of this game, make sure to leave a like down below, and maybe I will play those different prisons. And also, there is a versus mode. If you look, and if you saw that in the title, I don't know if you saw that in the title. But if you guys do like this game, then I will also play this with some friends. Here we go. And those guys. We're already beating each other up. Look, Swag Boy 9000 just got Swag Boy 9000. No! So as you can see, if I hit uh, tab, no, 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 no. If I click this up here, you can see this is the map, and this is where our little home is. Let's uh, let's go up to our little home or our cell and uh, see if we have anything in our desk, which I don't think we do because it, it was probably yep, it's being searched right now. As I suspected. What? What was in there? <laughs> now what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go find somebody to try to get like to do a mission. You hear my stomach groan? It's in dire need of a sugar mint. Okay, all right. Well, we can get 10 coins for getting the sugar mint. And if we hit uh, click this up here, uh, as you can see right here in the gym, that's where I can find the sugar mint, I think. The little gold thing is how you find the different things. Uh, oh, oh, it's downstairs, I think. It's downstairs. Okay, so we gotta go downstairs. Like, I'm like, why is there a sugar mint in the gym? He has a mint in his desk, probably. A sugar mint, yeah. Boom. Hey, hey, lady. Thanks. Yes, see, there we go. Favor completed, the chef. There's the first favor completed. So that's how we can get coins. Then there's also a time called job time, and you get jobs and you can earn coins from that. And then, once you have money, you can buy stuff from these people. So these people with these coins above their heads, that means they are selling stuff, and you can buy a screwdriver or handles for tools so you can build, like, pickaxes and stuff to break out, which is super awesome. Then you can also do various other things like work out, and read books and stuff. So let's go up to the job time. Now these jobs, I think they require you to be, you to have like more, like a certain amount of strength and intellect. Uh, Shoemaking, job filled already. Mail sorting, job filled. Waste disposal, requirements not met. And this one, job filled. So we can do waste disposal if we get 60 strength, 30 knowledge, knowledge and 35 coins, which we already have. So we basically need to get the strength, I think. Do we have, how much knowledge do we have? We already have 30. Let's get some strength. How much strength was it? 60? Yeah, it was 60 strength that we need. Oh, look at those guys. They're, they're having a fight. Oh, that guy has magical powers? <laughs> Did you guys see that? What was that? Did he have like a taser or something? They look so funny. Like, why are they doing that? They like, they like bounce the ball off their face. Um, Envy strikes again. Some more on flesh. Not by painting this supplies down the toilet. Obviously jealous of my amazing art skills. 
Go to help me locate some fresh ones. Locate fine art brush for Tessel, and it's downstairs, I think. Yes. Okay. And let's go check this desk over here. Boom. Opening. Uh, fine art brush. Is this guy? There you go. All right. We we got him the stuff. Look at that. Man, we're just going down. Doing errands. We're going so fast. I have a couple guinea pigs in mind to test my new recipe. Could you pass on the goods if they drop dead? Then deny everything. So basically, oh, okay. We're gonna like poison some dude or something. What? <laughs> it's Hayden. It's Hayden. Okay, let's let's deliver it to him without the guard. Okay. Hey Hayden. There you go. Have a cake. No big deal. You know, nothing. How much money do we have? We have a hundred already. Woo! The last game that I played, last time I played, I was an hour and a half in and I had like 30 money or something. And the next day, we have gotten a lot of money so far. Knowledge. Ooh, all this knowledge is going into my brain. My head is getting so big. <laughs> Look at how much knowledge is in my brain. Hopefully that effect worked. Come on, we gotta get to 60. One more go, come on. Yes, we got 60. Waste disposal, apply for job, boom, job board. Okay, so next time it's job time, I'll have a job to do. All right, let's see if this guy has anything for us to buy that would be very effective. Ooh, a tool handle, I think I should buy that. Yep, okay, let's see, does this guy have a crowbar? Yes, yes. Okay, we got the duct tape, now we can craft, craft. Ooh, we got a pickaxe, guys. Okay. It's uh, time to go back to our cell. We have gotten the pickaxe. Guys, we are gonna break out. We are going to escape, but not in this episode. This is gonna take a few episodes. So, if you guys do enjoy this, in, if, if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, make sure to go down and hit the like button down below. We actually have made quite a lot of progress already. We have 120 money as well as a pickaxe. Uh, so yeah, guys, have an awesome, wonderful day. Make sure to hit the like button down below if you wanna see the next episode as well as a versus mode after I do break out of prison. I'll play versus with Caleb, I think. Yeah, I'll play with Caleb. So have an awesome, wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.